Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little trailer video as well because I haven't done that. I figured I'd do a trailer video. So uh, my editor's probably gonna cut this and also make it to where it actually is the trailer of the video. But we can go to Chrome and you'll see I'm in the Unreal Engine asset store, but why? Why am I here? I'm not a game developer. Am I? I want to be. Why I made this channel so I could get the money to get the PC to run Unreal Engine. And yeah, you could run Unreal Engine at a, with a lower quality PC, not a stupid high quality PC. Your PC needs, still needs to be a beast, but not a beast of a PC. But you still need a beast. So I need the money to get this. Which is... That's a lot of money. And it is a good PC. And it's cheap for what it is. I took me a long time to get the price to go down. And it can do really high graphics stuff. Not the highest graphics, but it has 4 terabytes. 16 gigabytes of graphics. Uh, six, 64 gigabytes of memory, I think. I don't know. Um... Yes. Wait, no, it's 32, if I'm correct. Yes, 32 gigabytes of memory. Um, a Samsung 990 Pro he with heat sink, 4 terabyte M.2, uh, oh 2280. PCIe 4.0 X4 NVMe solid state drive, and that's the space. That's like, like, don't mind the background noise. There's background noise. There's people up here, obviously, but um, then 16 gigabytes of graphics, which is well high. That's a lot of graphics. You might be wondering why you're getting it for such cheap. That's because it's not really the best cooling and stuff. It's not just, like, on the graphics cards, it's not just the graphics that performs that thing is the price. It's the style. It's how much cooling it's getting. It's the materials. It's the durability. It's the texture. It's a lot of the stuff. Um, how much power it uses. It's not just about how much graphics it has, and yeah, that's a big part, and that's probably why you're getting a graphics card. That's also why I, this isn't, this is not the highest quality 16 gigabyte video card. It's not the highest quality video card. You can get higher than 16 gigabytes. I don't know why you would want higher than 16 gigabytes, because most games, there are only games that can go to 16 gigabytes that I know of, which... In graphics, that is just insane. Why do you need more than 16 gigabytes? But hey, anyway, I do have some assets for the game, and the uh, and the game is a Norse game, but it is not like God of War because it is those. It's based in the modern age, but it is of Norse mythology, which I find is a super fun game. And I want to go to the shopping cart, actually, give me a second, how do I go to the shopping cart? I mean, yeah, at the shopping cart, but, vault, yes, vault. There were some that I purchased, but that's because they are free. I don't have near any money right now, guys, because I don't have a bank account, I have parents and stuff. That will not allow me to have a bank account, so, I don't have one, so, um, I don't even have a job, and that's not even the biggest problem. I don't have a job. I could get the money when I get monetized, because I could use my sister's bank account. Um, so I could get the money. Yeah, technically I could. But I'm not monetized, and that's why I need you guys to subscribe. Like, watch my videos, and it would be a great help. Because I really want to make games, and I want you to have that experience of enjoying playing my games because 
every game is going to have a lot of options. There's going to be mechs in this game. Uh, there's going to be mechs. There's going to be building options. There's going to be story mode. There's going to be online multiplayer, which multiplayer and online I find is really different. Um, yeah, the mechs for my brother, um, his YouTube channel is, uh, Mechanist Gamer, um, but, yeah, he's gonna be in the game, but he doesn't really want to show his face, so, and yes, this game is based in real life, this game is based in real life on, not where I live, <laughs> it's not based where I live, it's a made up place, um, I mean, it is a real place, but not where I live. Um, I've been there. I used to live there. Um, and you'll see me as my real age, but I, I, I used to live there. Um, and these are just some assets, blood stains, because it is a game where you fight. There is going to be blood. That doesn't mean it's a horror game, though, so... Just so you're not scared of blood. Just make sure you're not scared of seeing blood. Uh, it's not too completely gruesome. And multiplayer mode and online mode will be different. Online mode is where you will be attacking each other. And the last two players standing will go versus each other and see who wins. And then you'll go ranking up. And it'll be a rank thing. You'll go rank one online battle, which is... Of a hundred people. Um, multiplayer mode is where you fight bosses and every boss gets harder until you fight the final boss. The Odin Titan, which I think... They're, they're like Titans, which I think is cool. You first one you'll fight is the Balder Titan, and then you get to the Odin Titan. The one before the Odin Titan is the Thor Titan, and the one before that, blah, blah, blah. Well, the one before the Odin Titan is actually going to be the Fenrir Titan, I think, because, um, Fenrir kills Odin, actually. So maybe I should do Fenrir as the final one. No, because... Odin is the final boss that you know in my game. That you know, um, you, uh, that you know it's the final boss. Um, there will be different mythologies at points, um, and there will be Easter eggs to, uh, shows, but the, only things that I've played, only games that I watch, not ones that I've heard of, or um, store books that I've read, like say Harry Potter. Sorry, I moved there. We have a kitten over here, a little cute little kitten. He's doing on a cord though, so can't be doing that. Um. Anyway, so basically, this is really cool because it is a game about me um and it is based in an rv park which i think is well it's a pretty cool game um and i'm excited i'm 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 very excited I can't make it though. Currently, it's not currently in the middle of being make made, but I am coming up with the ideas of it. But I can't make it. But um, if you subscribe, hit that like and watch all of my videos until you've watched a hundred, and then until you've watched four thousand watch hours. Then we'll get this done real quick, and I'm excited. I really am. Um, I want to be a game developer more than anything. Um, and I also have quite a high display, so um, I won't be lacking seeing any of the good stuff. Like I won't be able, 
Like, on low resolution, you won't be able to tell if it's high resolution or not. Like, there might be little bugs that you can't see because your screen is such low resolution. It just adds up to more bugs. But my screen is a high resolution screen. I assure you that. Um, I have decently high sounding uh, headphones. I don't know how high quality there are. Uh, I took me a long time to get it down to the price it is, though. Um. Give me a second. Let me just get this. Um. I'm quite excited I will be using MetaHumans, which is a very realistic human thing. I will actually go to it and I will show you it. You might have heard of it. Um, but if not, uh, one, what are you doing with your life? Um, and two, this is what metahumans look like. They are really, really high quality. It's really cool. I find I am wowed by Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine just never ceases to amaze me. Uh, you can change the hair, which is cool. You can do that, which is cool. That, which is cool. That, which is neat. That, which is neat. That, which is neat. And that, you might find what is going on. They're moving the person, like, I don't know. They're moving the person, and it's, like, moving the person in-game or something. I don't know. Now, that, that's an actual human. And that, um, that's a, this is a human. And this is a meta-human. Like, this is, like, no textures and stuff. Nothing. So that's why it looks... So weird. Um, but I'm excited, and if you subscribe, I can do all this. I can make all of this a reality, and my game is going to be a lot like God of War. It's going to release on PS5 and PC, um, and I will be making mobile versions of it uh, as well. I'll find a way to do it. I'm thinking uh, retro, but uh, you can always tell me. There will be a Gmail that I will make. I cannot make it currently, but there I will at one point I will make it, and you will be able to add suggestions. But just for now, um, add suggestions to my YouTube comment. All right. I could go with retro. I could go with just. 2D cartoony like uh, stuff. I could do highish resolution. I could do a lot of things. Um, both mobile, I can't go too high resolution, just to let you all know. Um, I want to do all this, but I can't. Um, so if you guys would, um, Subscribe again. I know I'm saying it a lot, but I really want you to subscribe so I can get this. And also, I need money for assets. And e even though you got, even if I get monetized, this will take a little bit uh, to get up there. But I'm going to keep working as hard as I can. I promise you. I will get there in the next three years. I will get monetized. I promise you. And within the next six years, I will get this PC. I will. I promise I will not eat guys down. And I will see you in the next one. Um, sorry, um.